Ever wondered how the Moai statues of Easter Island got there? I mean, these things are huge, some weighing over 80 tons, basically the equivalent of moving a small house. But how did the Rapa Nui people move them? First, they carved them out of volcanic tuff, a soft stone, using tools like basalt and coral. No high-tech machinery here, folks. They made these statues to honor their ancestors and the heads. Well, they're big, because the Rapa Nui believed big heads meant big spiritual power. Now the real mystery, how did they get them from the quarry to the platforms? There's no way they just rolled these things, right? Well, some think they used a technique called walking. Yep, the Moai were swayed back and forth, almost like a conga line, to move them across the island. Can you imagine the coordination? Okay guys, on three. One, two, three. Sway. Others believe they used logs as rollers, like some ancient version of a wooden roller coaster. Still, it took teamwork, sweat, and probably a lot of coffee, if they had it back then. But why make these massive statues in the first place? They weren't just for show, they were meant to honor ancestral chiefs and bring spiritual protection to the community. So, next time you see a Moai, just remember, it took some serious creativity and a lot of muscle to get them standing tall, building eyes.